Hello, in this video I'm going to explain you the specifications of Solo Motor Controller and everything you need to know about it. Solo is a universal motor controller capable of controlling different types of motors from DC brushed, brushless DC, permanent magnet stimulus motors which are known as AC brushes and also induction motors. Solo's voltage input is very wide. It can support from 8 to 58 volts as the input and it can deliver up to 32 amps continuous at the output to the motors. Solo can be commanded in various ways. The simplest form of commanding Solo to control the speed and torque of your motor is through this Phoenix green connector which you can send either PWM pulses or analog voltages between 0 to 5 volt and also through that connector you have the access to a 5 volt 1 amps output for all the peripherals that you might use alongside Solo to supply them and to provide power for them. Solo features manual mode which in this case you would be able to control Solo literally without almost anything externally connected to Solo. You just need a simple potentiometer and within the manual mode you would be able to control open loop or closed loop, you would be able to control torque and speed and using the piano switch just mounted there you can select the type of motor, you can select the current limit and also the output frequency which will be fed to the motor. Another important thing for Solo is it features a lot of different control modes. The most important ones are sensorless control of torque and speed for the motors that we are supporting and also the sensor control of speed torque and position using encoders which you can mount on the other side of the board. The other thing is Solo automatically identifies the parameters, all the parameters necessary for self-tuning itself without any interference of the user. Just beside the piano switch, there is a micro USB V2 provided for the users to send the commands or receiving some feedbacks from the uh, motor controller and also to update the firmware whenever it's ready, whenever there is a new uh, feature or whenever there is an update or debugging, you can update the firmware of Solo completely. Another current thing you'll find just beside the USB, it's the input for encoder and HAL sensors with 5 volt supply for them as well within the connector. The right angled connector here is in charge of leading the CAN and UART protocol to the outside. So you can use these protocols to again communicate with Solo, sending commands and receiving the feedbacks if you want. There are two LED indicators indicating the status and errors anything occurred in the system for just visual inspection. The status LED will blink for 1 Hz so you know, you know everything is going fine and the error LEDs are also defined to show you all the possibilities that might occur during the operation. In general, Solo is designed to be very easy to use with lots of communication methods for different types of users from beginners to expert. One of the other possibilities of using the CAN and UART port is you might be able to insulate the communication from Solo to the other parts of your system for very reliable systems, for systems that they require a certain amount of safety. As you can see here, we also made a, a simple board which is an insulated USB just to protect all the peripherals that might be sensitive to the switching noises which are existing within the switching part of the system. Another advantage for the users will be the possibility of networking lots of solos together. So each solo will have a specific address and you might be able to send a different commands to different solos within your system so they can communicate with each other and they can collaborate to make the system work perfectly together. Solo has over 1800 microfarad onboard capacity which helps you to stabilize your systems to protect the user, Solo features five different types of protections reverse polarity, over current, bus over voltage, bus under voltage, and over temperature protections. 
Regarding a thermal design, Solo has a heatsink mounted on its back with an onboard temperature sensor monitoring the temperature of the board all the time. This thermal design helps us to improve significantly the behavior of the board during the high current transmission to the output. The heatsink is detachable using the four screws you find on top of Solo and you can detach it if you don't need it. There are also four reinforced mounting holes all around Solo to make the users able to mount it wherever they like. 